Would you like to know how to make money on YouTube? Well, my good friend Julie May, she wants to know that as well. So we're here to do two things, to make a video for you and to provide some coaching to teach you exactly how to do that. I make money on YouTube in two ways. I'm also gonna share a bonus way that'll probably surprise you. So Nate, uh, what we're doing right now with our brand is we do a lot of marketing on Facebook, we're on Instagram, and we're using those platforms to get a lot of our clients coming in and have awareness of our brand. We're really not using YouTube at all, like pretty much at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I host videos there for my private clients, but they're not even listed. Like I seriously look at YouTube and I go, I, I don't even know how posting videos there turns into money. Can you tell me a little bit more about how that works? Yeah, yeah, so the, the biggest way that people know of is through ads. And I'm gonna explain that, but understand that this is just gonna be a small amount compared to what you can really do on YouTube. When I go to conferences with lots of other YouTubers, a lot of them there started a YouTube channel as a hobby, and then they started making a little bit of money through YouTube's partner program, which I'll, I'll explain. And then they thought, oh, well, maybe I could make this my job, make, make a business out of this. And so there really is a way that you can do that, but it, it typically takes years to get there. So here's, here's how this works. So YouTube is an advertising platform, just like Facebook is and Google, and, and that's how they make their revenue. But YouTube did something really smart, and they, they created it as a partner program. So if you create videos and you put them on YouTube and you, you know agree to this partner program, then when... When an ad is put before your video, uh, YouTube will give you 55% of the ad spend that was used to show your ad. So the advertisers pay money to YouTube, they give 55% to the creators of those videos. That's pretty cool. That's totally cool. Yeah. yeah. So on, on my biggest channel that's making the most revenue, it, it equates to just below one penny per view. That's kind of the math that I've done. Mm -hmm. You don't actually get paid for a view or a click, you actually get paid for the ads that are seen. But when I take a look at how many views have I had in the last month, how much money did I make in the last month, the math comes out to about one penny per view. Gotcha. So you've got to have millions of views to make thousands of dollars. Yes. And you can get there, but if you're gonna if you're gonna quit your job and go full time into YouTube, know that it's gonna take many years before you can actually sustain yourself. Gotcha. So if I can ask a question really quick, how yeah. do you get in? So the the regular person just starting a YouTube channel with you know. 10 views, they probably don't want to put ads and stuff and do the ad spend before those kinds of videos. How do you get to a point where YouTube's ready to partner up with you and you can put those uh -huh. ads before and after your... So good question. That brings up two points. One is you need to have a thousand subscribers. Gotcha. So that's kind of the benchmark that YouTube has now for you to be able to join their partner program. Um, but I'll also say that it's actually a good idea to put ads as early as you can. and mm -hmm. and and not to worry about ads because when people are on YouTube, they see ads all the time. That's the experience that they expect to have oh, yeah. unless you pay the YouTube premium, which is like 10 bucks a month. So I have YouTube premium. When I go to YouTube, I don't see ads. Um, and how that works is a side note. So if I watch one of your videos, you'll get more than a penny from me watching your video because I'm paying YouTube. It, it actually works out that you get paid more instead of me watching an ad before your video. Anyway, just a side note. But, um, you know, to answer the question, well, I don't want to put ads before my videos. If you want YouTube to promote your videos, mm -hmm. then you want YouTube to make money. Yeah. And exactly. so if you make a video that matches really good with an ad and, and, and YouTube will promote it so that it gets more and more views because it makes YouTube more and more money because the advertiser is doing well, that makes sense? Yeah, yeah. So uh, not only have I had videos that I've made get promoted by YouTube, and yes, I've made good advertising money. I've had one video that in a month made me $18,000. Nice, okay? nice. Yeah. Um, but it it's made me hundreds of thousands of dollars over the over like the past year simply because it, it launched our channel. It took one of our channels from 80,000 subscribers to 160,000 in five weeks. Wow. Because YouTube was really promoting it. So it, yeah, and it's, you, you do want, you do want YouTube to make money. Yes, they treat you well if they're making money, right? Yeah. 
Totally. Like we're all happy together. So does that help? Yeah, totally helps. So uh, there's two other ways that I'm going to discuss, but is there any other questions you have on that side, on making money through the ads? Uh, no, but like there's a follow-up question that's unrelated, sort of, okay. is how do you get that many subscribers? How do you have that many people following you? It's mm -hmm. not like Facebook where you can just go out and friend the universe and everyone's mm -hmm. like, I'm turning down probably... 50 friend requests a day I'm looking at on Facebook. That's not even hard. Mm -hmm. But on YouTube, you have to try and get people to come in and follow you. So can we talk about that? Yes. So I'm going to give a, a quick answer now, and then we're going to do a second episode. Okay, okay, let's do that. The quick answer, my number one strategy to get traffic and get new eyeballs onto your channel is mm -hmm. through keyword research. Oh. Now, don't let that intimidate you. Gotcha. In the video, and I'll even link to it right up here. Uh, I'm going to teach you how uh, just a simple, simple strategy and a tool that you can use that, that makes it makes it work. And so basically you can film a video now, post it to YouTube today, and you'll rank on YouTube on that front screen right now today, and you'll start getting it. It'll just be a trickle of traffic, mm -hmm. but then it, but they're, they're viewers that will watch uh, your whole video. Instead of just watching it and then leaving, they'll mm -hmm. watch a whole bunch of your video, get high watch time. And YouTube will see that and they'll want to promote your video more and more. So you just start getting more and more traffic gradually, gradually, gradually. So I'll show you that. It's my keyword research strategy. In fact, the nice. video is called my tree analogy. That teaches everything. Sweet. Okay. So the second way that you can make money is similar. It sounds like to what you're doing with the other social media platforms is it's you're bringing attention to your, your business. Yes, exactly. Okay? So I thought the easiest way to, to show you how we use YouTube to promote a business, I thought I'd just show you an example. Perfect. So my friend Chris Crone, we've been working together on this YouTube channel for four and a half years. He teaches real estate investing and I predict in the next 24 to 36 hours we will cross 400,000 subscribers. Nice. Pretty excited. Nice. All right. So um, let's pick a video. Let's see. Let's just do this. The video that went went live today. I want passive income without hype. Okay. The the whole video. Let's see. It's eight minutes and twenty five seconds long. Mm -hmm. The bulk of the video. There's there, he doesn't pitch himself or anything. There's no sales going on. He's just answering the question of how you could build passive income. But I want to skip ahead you to know, the a end. Whole lot of garbage online there about passive income. This. So he has a he has a strong intro. And, I, and we had somebody send in a video clip, so this guy's asking this question. But there's a lot of <laughs> about passive income online. Team bleep that word. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then uh, he comes in and he answers the question, okay? When we get out, and I don't know exactly where it is, let's, let's see. Or do it on your own. Doing it on your own can be really, really risky. It Getting doesn't close. always work out the way. So he's still teaching. He's still gotcha. teaching. Nothing sold yet. Yeah. That's, That's my advice, advice Jordan. I hope it's... Of where you could go. Thank you so much for submitting this video, and I think I'm giving you multiple options of where you could go from this point. For those of you that have that question, like Jordan, want to know what's real, what's fake, I'm inviting you to click the link in the description below and get a chance to talk to a member of my team and also pick up my book. For free. Mm. You like that? I do. I know yeah. how to deal with that. Like we do links to talk with our team all day long right so he'll he'll mix that up but i mean he did two things here talk to my team and i'll give you my book for free mm. have you heard of a free plus shipping yes option? i have so yeah when they um, go when they go to get his book for free go ahead what trying to think who does that russell brunson, russell brunson does brunson. so yeah russell brunson's really famous for doing that we use yeah. we use click funnels exactly russell, russell. Brunson created. <laughs> yes and we used to we used to have a get my book for free used to be an audio download but when Chris tested out the free plus shipping, he got more people to opt in and they're more committed because they've already spent a few bucks for the shipping. I agree. We're finding the same thing kind of in our research that people are really into a physical product right now and mm -hmm. they're willing to pay that little bit. And it's, we call them micro closes along the way, right? So we want a little bit bigger of a micro close before they talk to our team. So I mm -hmm. agree with that. Yeah. So when you follow that keyword research strategy, you're pulling in people who've never heard of you before. So brand new audience and you're giving away all your secrets. You're not mm -hmm. holding anything back. It's not like, okay, I've got five secrets. I'm going to share three here and then you can go and buy the other two. It's like, no, you don't do that. Yeah, give, yeah. Away, give away all five and people really, uh, are, they appreciate that. They're like, wow, that was so helpful. I want to subscribe uh, to the channel. And the reality is most people won't go and implement those five things. They'll value it. They learned a lot, but they won't go implement it. When they're ready to implement it, 
they'll say, ah, I want to go to Julie's website and hire her to help me implement these five steps. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Same thing with stage speaking. You teach all day long, you give them every tool you have, and the amount of implementation is, I mean, they'll go home and take one or two tools, but when they're really ready to make that huge transformation, they'll, they'll contact you and then mm -hmm. you have a client. Yep. Yeah. All right. Now for the bonus one that I don't think that you expect. Um, I want to show you a channel and they tend to lately have been putting bikinis on their thumbnails. So apologize for that. We'll see if we can avoid any bikinis. And they just had a child, so that's awesome. Okay, so this couple, mm -hmm. they live on a yacht. Gotcha. They travel the world and it's a vlog. They put out a couple episodes per week. Now they make money from ads, um, but they make money from something called Patreon. Have I you heard of know. Patreon before? No idea. Okay, so I'm gonna also bring up Patreon. No clue on the planet. Okay, so this is a website. You can create an account here if you're a creator of content like YouTube. Mm -hmm. And people on YouTube, you can say, hey, if you wanna become part of our crew, that's what they call it on Sailing Law Vagabond, um, you can donate a dollar per episode to help support us and what we're creating here. Mm -hmm. So you, it's like crowdsourcing or it's, okay. it's you just have patrons that support you on your YouTube channel. Now, if I do a search for... Okay, so that's the people. They've got 2,600. Yeah, they've got 2,624 patrons that are paying them to continue producing content. Now, wow. Patreon used to post what that dollar amount amounted to because look, uh, their lowest tier, $3 or more per episode and there's certain benefits mm -hmm. that you can receive. You can, you can get more, you get a, a sticker or something, I don't know. Yeah, you get a sticker if you do five or more per episode. You get some other things down there. There's ten dollars. You get a beer holder cooler thingy. <laughs> okay, they're they're. I mean, I don't know what the the biggest level is. Let's see. Here's one for fifty dollars per episode. They, wow. They have different perks. Gotcha. And some of the perks that I've seen that would be amazing to receive is they have a drawing, and they'll invite the the winners that their patrons that drawn out to come and and stay with them on their yacht for a time. Oh, that's so they could, super cool. It could be a free trip in the Bahamas, right? You just yeah. got to fly there, but now you're going to get this epic and you get to hang out with your friends. Yeah, that, that you've uh, been following on YouTube. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. And my estimation, based on where they used to be and where they are now, I think they're making $12,000 per episode from their patrons. That is not shabby when you're putting out two or three a week. Yeah. Yeah. So that, yeah, I thought this one would surprise you, but... Um, but they've obviously created a career out of it, and yeah. uh, they've got they've got merch. They get ad revenue, and through Patreon, they are making a living a very nice living traveling the world on a yacht through YouTube. So, do you know any of your clients or anyone that's using this successfully? Is it hard to get people to be patrons for your YouTube channel? Like, how um, does that all work? I've only dabbled in it a little bit, and I I quickly off the bat was able to get a few patrons, but it's not something that I that I personally have gained an expertise in. Um, I know another one like um, music creators like Peter Hollins. Mm -hmm. He's an acapella singer. And let's see how many patrons he has. Yeah, look, he's got 4,000. Mm -hmm. So he, he puts a lot of work into doing music covers and, and acapella versions of st songs. I know that when The Greatest Showman came out, I saw that he did some acapella versions of that. And, nice. And people love his voice. They love hearing him do versions of songs. And so they, they donate. Like, see right here, you get to become part of the, the Hollands family. That's his last name. If you just do one or more per music video. And so that's wow. how he is supporting his career. So instead of paying for a cable TV subscription, they pay through Patreon to support, to support their favorite creators. Oh, how interesting. That's cool. I love it. So would you like a free gift? <laughs> So thanks so much, Julie, for being with me in this episode, and hopefully that was helpful for you. And if you found this information helpful, I do have that free gift for you, my keyword research guide. So my team will put on the screen here, you can text the word HERO1 to the number 415-528-7403, and that gets you access to that entire keyword research guide. And uh, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow.